County leaders could sign a new last call order as early as this week. It would ban alcohol sales in restaurants across the county every night starting at 10 p.m. Governor McMaster already put a similar order in effect last week. It comes as larger numbers of young people are testing positive for COVID-19. WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Signs joins us live now with more on this potential order. Hunter. Sarah, under this proposed order right now, you would not be able to grab a beer, a mixed drink, a glass of wine at any area restaurant like the one behind me. That's because they would not be able to sell alcohol past 10 o'clock at night. Mecklenburg County leaders say they have enough support to put this in action, so it's only a matter of time. Last call could soon be 10 o'clock in Mecklenburg County. I think it's good. We just need to get over this. Might as well just stay home after 10 o'clock. County Manager Dina DiOrio sent a letter to county leaders Wednesday morning saying a policy is being drafted that would stop the sale of alcohol at restaurants after 10 p.m. It obviously is going to hurt. Dilworth neighborhood grill owner Matt Wolfarth says he expected this to happen and he's tired of the back and forth on restrictions. It's very hard for morale. There won't be profit after this. He expects his business to lose roughly $5,000 a week. He knows it will be safer, so he'll follow the rule, and he doesn't envy the tough decision being made. I don't like this rule, but I don't know what I would do if I was them. The proposal comes after these videos captured people packed into area restaurants that basically turned into nightlife bars this past weekend. This possibly could have been avoided with penalties and fines. Some patrons believe partiers will just go elsewhere. Lots of house parties and a lot of people getting together not six feet apart and just continuing with COVID. A spreading virus forcing county leaders to cut you off well before closing time. And Charlotte City Mayor uh, Vi Lyles, excuse me there, she says she expects to sign this when it crosses her desk. Now, the other towns that are in support of this and also say that they will co-sign on this are Matthews, Davidson, and Mint Hill. Orange County and all of South Carolina have similar restrictions right now. Again, we do not know when this would go into effect. Live in Dilworth tonight, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte. Hunter, thank you.